Hey boys and girls, it's Night Stalker here. Welcome along today to the Storehouse Siege Take 2. Check it to check it out. If you haven't seen my previous video on Storehouse Siege, I'm going to put the little link just at the top of the screen now. I suggest maybe you watch that one first. And as you might have seen if you'd already seen that video, uh, this is not a very common map. And I've got it like twice in a week when I've only ever had it half a dozen times total in the entire time I've been playing. So this is pretty exciting. And in the last video, uh, oh, none of the enemy team are bow heroes. That's going to be absolutely fantastic for our little strategy here of all these archers. Now, if you watched the last video, you would have seen that I was um, getting absolutely blistered up. Our entire team was getting shot to bits. But hang on, where am I going to put these guys just nice and safe? We're getting absolutely shot up inside the Colosseum of Death, that is the, the inside of that storehouse siege. With all of those rings around the top, we had a whole bunch of ranged heroes, and we just had tons and tons of ranged units, and they were just destroying us when we pushed on to the final point. So let's see what happens when uh, when I'm on the defending side this time. And oh, that's a nice cannon. It's got a hole in it. It's no good. We'll leave it there. We're going to see what happens when we do the same thing to these guys. Now, there was a lot of discussion in the comments about this map, about how actually it's, the map advantages the attackers. Uh, there's no artillery left. Oh, good. Well done to the attackers, I guess. And it's only if people know the map that this really is an advantage. Okay, so you don't need a battering ram for that. Maul is perfectly balanced. <laughs> so let's see what happens when it's our turn to do the same thing in return. But for now, we've got to deal with this A and B point. Now, when I last played this map, hi friends, when I last played this map, uh, A and B were overrun very, very quickly. So I'm anticipating that that's going to happen again because it's just so exposed up here. It's trebable. Well, let's find out what happens. That dude with the blister there is probably going to get some nice kills. <laughs> We've got some woodcutters. My pokey boys can probably uh, deal with those. We'll just wait till they come up so that the the enemy units are danger close, so it reduces the chance of, oh, that these are trash troops. We're going to get trebbed anyway. We'll just keep the powerful troops at the back. But this is a good tactic that the enemy is using here. They're pushing in two peasant units as well to get us to engage those peasants and then bring in the trebuchets just like that. So it was very well played to the enemy team, and that is something that you can use yourself as well absolutely knew that trebuchet was coming let's get some stabby boys on top of these berserkers because berserkers hate stabby boys pikes are a good counter to um, berserkers except if you get charged in the face oh and there's another treb oh those poor stalwarts and pikes never mind life be like that it looks like at least some of our guys got out and i would not keep those crossbows there sir you should retreat those right now but now Step one of the master plan, the genius master plan that is place archers and forget that they're there. <laughs> Let's see how this goes for us. I'm really excited to try this. Um, we'll go Nam Cams first. Bleedy, bleedy boys. They're all boys, aren't they? I think the shield maidens are currently the only female unit in the game, which is a, a bit of a shame. But it is what it is. Oh, where'd they come from? It's a nice little castle. I guess that's a respawn point of some kind. We'll find out soon enough, I guess. And B's being captured. Alright, I want to split the unit across two levels. Um, and that just makes it really hard for a single hero to roll up the entire unit. You can't just jump into it and spin to win. You have to sort of grind your way along the top and then grind away along the bottom, or vice versa. I'm going to bleed on because there's no reason whatsoever that you should... Ooh, you should never, ever not use bleed. Thank you for the free archer kills. Are you going... To leave them there. How can I get two at once? Um, just at the very limit of my gun depression here. Gun depression, of course, being a world of tanks term. He's just going to let me keep shooting them. I'm, I'm happy with that. Can we get maybe him? Oh, derp. The uh, the Nam cans have started their work. And our shield maiden friend is going to absolutely rip the unit. Can I get one more before they go down? That was very poorly played by that short sword player. Unfortunately, uh, I hope he's learned from that. I don't know why he just sort of sat there and let me shoot them. Oh, that was a good treb though. Hopefully lessons were learned. Mistakes were made, and hopefully lessons were learned. 
But this is just ridiculous. They have to push in here. And we're just mowing them down. I actually have arrow rain on my damn cans. It does chew through your ammo a bit though. Why not? Let's do it anyway. Decka 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 decka. <laughs> Bleed, boys! Um, one thing I've noticed playing with the Prefecture Archers recently is they have a much, much higher alpha damage than the Nam Cans. So it's just a bit of a toss up as to. Ooh, freebies. I like freebies. Boom. <laughs> it's a bit of a toss up actually to me which one is better. There's only a five leadership difference in them in favour of the Nam Cans. But uh, I've actually been really impressed with the Prefecture Archers after everybody sort of uh, gave me their feedback on them. I decided to start maxing them out. They're still not maxed, but they do sort of double the alpha damage. Alright, I'm just going to knock this guy off the wall because he's a wally and he stood too close. Goodbye, sir. And we'll bring our archers back to give us a hand here. Hopefully one of our team comes up and helps us. These guys are never ever going to kill me, but it will take me forever to get through them. I'll go to Poleaxe. And some spear... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Ladies with spears. Stabby, stabby. Mahahaha. <laughs> Thank you for your help. Here is a heal for your trouble. And... Shooty boys can go back and get some ammo. Oh, I lost a couple there. I wasn't paying attention. Must have been a musket bomb or something. But yeah, this is just just brutal to have to push into here. And they don't have any ranged heroes to thin out my archers. And I'm only on my first unit. Whoops. We have two more units left. Both of them do more damage than this one. Oh, this is going to be yuck. Shooting into some backs. Oh, good, good jab throw. Maybe a little off target. Go away. Go away. And arrow rain of doom. Oh, I should get on that point. Is it safe? Looks safe. No capture for you. You're just kind of ignoring me. Well, he's not. Shooty, shooty, pew, pew, pew. This is just ridiculous. Now, one of the commenters said about how um, you can climb up the, the ladders on the outside of the wall and just go to town on the um, the ranged units up the top here, which seems like the best thing to do. So, if you're in this situation and the, your enemy is doing exactly what I'm doing, uh, climb up the ladders on the outside and just wail on their, uh, their archers and all their ranged units up the top there. Maybe some ammo in the lull. It's always worth getting some ammo when uh, when you win the push, or sorry, when you're defending. It's when you defend against the push and the enemy are going back for new units. That's the best time to go and get some ammo or have a heal, especially if you're close. And our team are down there disrupting, which is a great tactic as well. So I'm still very much learning about this map, but this seems fun. This seems fun. How long can I do this before somebody gets sick of it? Let's edge them along. There we go. Ooh, shooty boys. They look very tasty. Hello, have you got a moment to talk about our Lord and Saviour Longsword? <laughs> very soon my archers will get in on the action. Ow, 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 ow. Spears and guns. Spears and guns, bad. Spears and guns. Those are Tercios too. That's a gold tier unit. They get shot up. Get away from me. And arrow rain. Nemcan arrow range is just appalling. Yeah, boy. Is Cav going to come in, or are they, do they value their lives instead? <laughs> they choose life. Oh, oh! now this is exactly it. So you can hop up on that little thing to the left there. But he's never going to get through this. You know, even if he had wiped the Nam cans, he would have been killed by the bleed. Uh, we'll just tell him to go and find a target in the meantime, uh, while we go and get some more archers. And maybe maybe prefectures. We won't go straight for the, uh, the blasty boys. Imperial Archers of Doom. These lads have a natural arrow rain, and they do really significantly high alpha with a very fast rate of fire. I'm a lot more impressed with these guys the more time I spend with them getting their sort of, you know, the little nuances of their me mechanics down. And these crossbows are in exactly the right position as well. And again, we'll spread them out across two levels so that it's much harder to kill them all. Not impossible, of course. Hey, those look tasty. I think I want a piece of that. Whoops, stuff my ult up. Never mind. We'll just hack them to bits with a sword. Tasty. Next. We should be getting some archery coming in. There we go. 
you almost feel bad for the enemy team. It just these small maps are just dreadful. They sort of, you know, the game's designed around the 15 versus 15 siege, and when you when you shrink the the, the maps down, this it always sort of breaks the balance in the meta somehow. I'm very much enjoying having no enemy ranged heroes. Quick heal for the stalwarts who are the heroes of the show at the moment. <laughs> the mall decided no, no, I don't want that happening again. <laughs> you must have seen the crossbows and thought, nah, that's a little bit too much. Brilliant. This is actually just disgraceful. <laughs> Look at them. Beautiful Revenant armor on the uh, on the arches there. The Revenant armor will, will probably be 303-265. Not many. Um, the Revenant armor will probably be again, on sale again during Halloween. Uh, if you really want that that unit skin, it was available on Halloween last year. I see no reason why they wouldn't do it again to make a bit of can a bit of coin. Get away from me! Get away from my arches! Decker, 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 decker. Uh oh. Finally making ah, finally making a decent push on my archers. Not much I can do at this point. Hopefully those crossbows will absolutely thin them out. A few cheap peasant kills anyway. Actually still alive. Actually still killing. I will change the unit anyway because there's eleven of them left, ten of them left, so. At least I'll get to pull the unit back in again if my Imperials get wiped. But we've got less than two minutes left, so we might as well get the big guns out. Bring out the big boys. And I don't mean longbows. By the way, if you've ever thought, hey, I should give longbows a try. Don't. Longbows are an absolutely terrible unit. Their DPS is so bad. Just so bad. Ooh. Just random halberdiers. How about some bodkin arrows? Do you like bodkin arrows? I like bodkin arrows. They're all for you. You are welcome. More where that came from, too. Alright, shooty boys, let's do the damage. Get some bodkins on these heroes. And look at that, the, the alpha damage being done is, is actually fairly similar to the Prefecture Archers. How's that for a thing? Yucky Cav. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, ow, ow. Phew. <laughs> Mr. Maul's back again. But those archers are not going to be having any of that, especially with that dual blades coming in. He got half the unit again, though. Good on him for doing exactly what I was recommending, what the commenter from the last video is recommending, and climbing up those outside walls and just going to town on the archers. You should watch out, Mr. Maul, or you're going to get dead. These look nasty. No, just peasants. Choppity, choppity, choppity. 18 seconds left on the clock. As long as we're in the circle, nothing's going to happen. What a happy little siege. What do you reckon? Not too terrible, is it? I say GG, but really, was it? <laughs> Woo, 166 kills. 1.7 million damage. That, that's more level damage. That's crazy. What's that? junk. Ooh, 50, 131 and 40. We even got 8 kills with the Rattan Pikeman. This this map, man, uh, I, I, I literally can't even. We got the most kills. What else do you expect when you've got, you know, 3 or 4 DPS units? Ah, oh, he stole my, uh, my kills. My kills medal. Okay, so not terrible all round actually. Just a real disadvantage for the ally, uh, for the um, attackers. That's storehouse siege. A bit of a vision for the other side. Hopefully you learned something new, or you just enjoyed the video. Thanks for coming to my channel.